Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the on-stream application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's an amazing app that you can use to watch movies and TV shows online and totally for free. And the whole setup is actually super easy too. In fact, it will take you only a couple of minutes to get the app and set it up. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get on-stream to your device. And first of all, you'll have to get an app called Downloader, it's your Fire Stick. You can actually get it totally for free from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, what we gotta do is go to search on your device. So here it is, click on the search bar. And now we gotta start typing Downloader in the search bar. And as you can see at the bottom, the Downloader has already popped out for us. So there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. So we just need to click on Downloader. And there's the app that you gotta get to your device. But after you get Downloader, it's actually not over yet. Because we still gotta set it up. And in order to actually set up Downloader on your device, what we need to do is we have to go to the settings. So let's do it right now. We click on that button with the gear icon. And then scroll down until you find my fire tv let's open it and from here we'll have to turn on the developer options on your device but on some fire sticks and especially on the new fire tv stick devices developer options might be hidden by default so if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere no need to worry because it's actually easy to make them appear what you gotta do is go to about select fire tv stick and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do that fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have pop up for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging. Then you need to go to install unknown apps, open it, from here locate the loader and just turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Firefox device, we open it. And there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire TV stick. But before actually using downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And is of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, all you gotta do is just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to the Netherlands right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of this video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with 3 months for free or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So let's go straight to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, we open it, and there's the Downloader. So we gotta open it up as well. And now here, on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure you have clicked on home 
And now in the search bar, we'll have to enter a link, which is going to be on stream.so. So let's do that together. Once again, it's on stream. Dot so. So here you go. There is the link that you got to use. It's on stream.so. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on your screen and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the link is not going to work. After that, you gotta click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about fire sticks. As well, as please hit the like button below this video. It surely helps me a lot and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, right here on the website, what you gotta do is scroll down a little bit and click on download on stream. So we gotta click on it. And then here, from the list, click on download for Android TV. And now in a couple of moments, we download should start for us. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, I got a pretty fast connection, so that shouldn't take too long. Then right here on this page, you need to click on install. And now in just a couple of moments, the app will finally be installed to your Far TV Stick device. And after it was installed, do not click on open yet. Instead, you should press on done, because this way you'll have an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space on it anyway. And now, if you go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, let's open it. And there you'll find on stream, which we just downloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way, on stream is always going to be at the very top of your application list. And therefore, it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble when using such apps. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.